is Veronica Wells from MadNoir.com, and today we're here with Mario Godiva. Hi, Mario. How are you? Hi. Good. How are you? I'm good. Thanks. So, what made you um, take an interest and passion in fitness? Um, what made me take an interest in passion in fitness was um, I actually come from a history, uh, my family history. My mother um, was overweight. Uh, my grandfather had um, diabetes and eventually died from it. So, and I was actually an overweight kid. So. Um, I kind of, I would say like junior high is when I, you know, I've been teased all through elementary school and never used to want to take my shirt off and play basketball or do things like that. And uh, I kind of just made the decision to, you know, do something about it. And so I literally just signed up for track and football, you know, even though I was overweight. And then from there I just kind of, you know, that's when I started getting like active and started like, you know, and then eventually all the rest just kind of morphed me into what I am now. So. Yeah, okay, that's how I started, and um, and I, I I actually started off uh, dancing and teaching dance classes, and then from dancing I kind of went over to like the whole sculpting, and then from there I just kind of got into everything else. Why is it important for the African American community in particular to um, pay attention to their health and their you know and exercising? Because we are the highest risk in all of those categories, mm -hmm. the highest risk for people for um, diabetes high blood pressure and you know and if it's red it's you know and if it runs in your family it's more likely gonna happen to you. So it's you know it's very unfortunate and a lot of it has to do with just you know it's it's cultural. It's 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 things that we grow up eating that aren't good for us and that we kinda of have an association with and kind of, you know. So it's you know it's it's unfortunate but I mean but like it, it's you just gotta educate people and let them know, you know, what to do, what to eat and what not to eat and you know, and to be active and to, you know, we're, we're so used to just being, you know, like I had to break out of that. I remember my, growing up in my family, it's like, all we did was sit around and watch TV, play video games. Mm -hmm. Like we weren't really encouraged to like, you know, yeah, we go play, but we weren't really, you know, doing act other activities outside of that. Right. So it's, it's definitely, you know, just something that I think just needs to be, you know, needs to start at home, needs to start at home. Parents need to be active, they need to get the kids active. And that's where it needs to start. So you, you mentioned that you have a background in dance. Yeah. So how do you incorporate dance in the classes you teach? Well, first of all, tell us which classes you teach. Um, I do pretty much everything but yoga. So my my uh, the things that I'm like I say I call, I call rock star that I just I, I blow away. Um, uh, sculpting class, any type of sculpting class, um, spinning, and also kangu. Kangu is the crazy bouncy shoe class uh, that I do as well. So those are like my three kind of like powerhouse formats that I can just rock out and just. You know, like it's it's an, it's an awesome experience. Um, I can and, and, oh, and, and any kind of dance class, any kind of dance, any kind of card dance class. I'm, I'm pretty much trained in everything. So let's talk a little bit about Kangoo because mm -hmm. I'm sure our readers, our viewers, have probably never seen anything like that. Yes. So tell us a little <laughs> bit about how you were introduced to the technique and then what you bring to it that's different. Um, I was at a about four years ago. I was at a uh, fitness convention and uh, I saw them. I was actually working at. And I saw them, they were kind of, uh, I was like a dealer at the time, and he was kind of letting people try them on, and they're very intimidating, so first I was actually scared to try them on. Right. And then after I'm seeing like Joe Schmo and Grandma try them on, I'm like, okay, I need to try this thing on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I go try them on, and you know, I first start running, I, I kind of, you know, it takes like a couple minutes to get used to them, so I, whatever. I go for a little run around the expo, I'm just, money's fine in my pocket, I love them, I, you know, uh, I'll buy them instantly. Um, How much really, were they? Uh, 200 bucks, like, two, like, like 230 or something like that, oh, you know. Okay. Cheaper than a knee replacement. Okay. <laughs> true, true story. True story. Um, so uh, I instantly bought them, you know, and uh, they really liked my energy. They're like, oh, you want to help us out with at these conventions? I was like, sure, you know. So I started doing that for a while, and then I then I learned that there was a whole group fitness aspect, and so I got on board with that. I went to Spain to get trained, and then um, I launched uh, the first kangaroo classes in the U.S. Um, four years ago, and I've been going strong ever since. I bring a very um, unique approach to it, especially because I act, I'm a dancer, so I actually dance with it. So a lot of, uh, like it's crazy, crazy, crazy in Europe, but they kind of very, they do it very kind of aerobic, aerobic-y, you know, arms and this and that, right. whereas I'm just like jamming out, <laughs> you know, and it's fun, it's experience, like as, as you ran them, yes. you, uh, you know, it's the music, it's me being crazy, it's, it's the rebounding, you know, there's 33 different health benefits with rebounding, so a lot of people like rebound and do it, but this this takes it and it concentrates it and makes it more, you know, it makes it more. Um, in an hour, we rebound about eight thousand times. Yeah. So, you very intense. Yeah. Very intense. But very fun. Right? Yeah. Very, very, fun. <laughs> very, very fun. Never done anything like that. Ever. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about um, the benefits of Kangoo. 
the benefits. Um, the most ma the major benefits are number one, it takes all the pressure off your knees and joints. Um, I work I work with a lot of different people who have reconstructed knees. They have bad knees, can't run or you know, like issues, any kind of like joint issues that they have, mm -hmm. and they're actually able to work out again, they're able to run again, they're able to do things. Um, I personally don't have issues with my knees, but I, I never will, my knees last forever. It's an intense core workout, you're, you're strengthening your core, your core is constantly engaged as you knew that you were in them. Um, it, the rebounding gives you like a, a, a super rush of endorphins, and so it's great motivation for working out. Like, mm -hmm. I personally look forward to like running and working out in them every single day. Every single day I wake up, like I'm looking forward to, you know, I put them on, put my music on, and just, you know, and, and have a blast. So what's next for you? What's the next frontier? Uh, the next frontier, well, um, I would like to see, I'd like to get just one big major endorsement, mm. celeb endorsement with this. I mean, we, uh, we sent the, the Kardashians, I used them, that was good, but I really want to get like just one big solid thing and then just have this kind of like just blow up, right. you know? Like Oprah, we, we try to work on Oprah, we Gail didn't like it. <laughs> it's like we tried to like, you know, I was like, uh, a lot of our staff took my classes when I was in Chicago. Mm -hmm. And uh, he tried and tried and tried, and it was just like, oh, we'll, we'll ask because you can't really tell Oprah, it's just Oprah, you can't right. tell her anything. Um, so we're like, oh, we'll get Gail into it, and Gail like, oh, Oprah, and then Gail didn't like it. So, <laughs> shot that down. Um, <laughs> so now I'm like, I want Wendy Williams, so I'm like, so I'm trying to get, yeah. I think Wendy would like it. I think she would too, she's great enough to do it, so yeah. I, so. You know, I, I, that's, I, I wanna, you know, I, like, I, I love King U and I'm always gonna be doing it. I'm always gonna be teaching, you know, like I, I train and I travel and I do different things, but like I love, you know, I'm an artist at heart. So it's like, I love, you know, I love being like, walking to a room full of people, teaching them, inspiring them, motivating them, you know, and I love having fun doing it. So it's, you know, like I'm definitely, you know, I'll definitely do some other things, but you know, I'm definitely in New York to stay. If I move anywhere, it's gonna be out of the country. Okay. <laughs> But definitely in New York to stay, and I'm definitely just, you know, I just want to, you know, just improve upon, you know, be bigger, be better, you know, learn more, mm -hmm. train bigger people, you know, just maybe do some more traveling. But okay. yeah, that's, okay. uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm definitely happy with what I'm doing, and I can do it for the rest of my life. So. Well, that's good. That's great yeah. to find something that you're that passionate about. Hi, I'm fitness expert Mario Godiva with MadameNoir.com.